us, and so do we. Look at these yeah. gorgeous Aww. little things. They're going to be keeping us company all morning. These little bunnies don't have a home, believe it or not. So, um, yeah, we're going to try and find new homes for our lovely bunnies by the end of the show. Um, yeah, Dad's going to take one, aren't you? Inviting into the studio this morning our very own Easter bunnies. They're incredibly cute. We've all been oohing and eyeing over them all morning. Um, they currently live at the Fat Fluffs Bunny Charity in Solihull in uh, the West Midlands. And they're looking for a home. All oh. these little bunnies haven't got anywhere to live, apart from obviously your lovely place. Good morning, how are you doing? Hi, hi, yes, who have we got with us here this morning then? We have got Charlie and Charlie too. Charlie and... Look at the, oh, look at the size of this fella. Yeah. Yeah, he's a... He's a big animal, and are we allowed, he's, are we he's a, to Yes, you can stroke them. He's oh, actually right. an average sized rabbit. He's, oh, right. he's what we call a dwarf lop. Oh, so he's, he's an average oh, sized bunny. About you. And yeah. then we've got the babies over and here. And then we've got these uh, babies. They're actually, uh, they were orphaned at 12 days old. Oh, so they have goodness. been hand reared by um, volunteers at Fat Fluffs. We've had uh -huh. a group of about 20 people come in twice a day to feed them uh, for six weeks. And they're now uh, 10 weeks old. But oh, mummy actually died geez. when they were. Beautiful. 12 days old. Oh, that's terrible. I mentioned earlier that Simon, one of our floor managers, has got a couple of bunnies. They are genuinely good pets, aren't they? They are. They're very affectionate. They're very easygoing. I mean, every bunny's different. You know, they've all got their own personalities. Oh. But as you can see, Charlie's very chilled out little boy. This, this, um, this these guys cool. have been, you know, hand reared. They're very friendly. They're used to human contact. Yeah. But, you know, we do get bunnies in that, that bite. We do get bunnies in that, you know, are not used to being handled. So they're all different. And, you yeah. know, they've all got different uh, okay. stories behind them. So... Yeah, yeah, no, they're just one of you. will be with us all morning, won't you? We'll oh, have yeah. lots of cute You've bunnies got it. all morning Charlie for you. Charlie is so soft. <laughs> oh, I think you like Charlie. I'm not moving. You? I'm going to do the rest of the show from down here with Charlie. Good for you, Dan. <laughs> There's your bunny news this morning as well. And here's Lucy with your. Okay. We've got real life bunnies in the studio this morning. Look at them munching oh, away, happy oh. as Larry over there. And these little bunnies are currently homeless. Yeah. We need to find them homes today before the end of the show. They're so beautiful. They are they? lovely. They're very soft really and lovely, lovely little and pets giving. To have. They're lovely pets. Yes, mm -hmm. you're right, Christine. Yeah. So Jenny. Uh, one of them's yours, we've already named <laughs> yes, it. Yes, <laughs> It's called... Oh, these guys in the studio with us, and they're looking for a home. Mm -hmm. They are currently residing at Fat Fluffs, which is a rescue uh, charity for rabbits. And there are thousands of rabbits around the country um, oh. that need new homes. Uh, hundreds oh. of you have actually uh, phoned us already. Thanks very much indeed mm -hmm. if you've taken the time to call us up and make inquiries about rehoming a rabbit. These guys are beautiful. So, um, yeah, let us know if, uh, if you can give... One of those guys at home. We couldn't resist inviting into uh, the studio our own Easter bunnies this morning. Uh, they currently uh, live at the Fat Fluffs Bunny Charity in Solihull in West Midlands. Um, and they're all sadly homeless. They're looking for homes this morning. And you've been uh, incredibly nice. We've had lots of people getting in touch, offering up their homes for these beautiful little things. And beautiful they are. My goodness, who have we got here? We got Charlie and Charlie too. Charlie and Charlie too. Yeah. Chloe, yeah. Uh, they, these are petable, aren't they? They are, Struggle, yes. Yeah. yes. You can. And we've got the little them. babies over here. Yes, these are our orphan yeah. babies that we raised from 12 days old. Yeah, yeah they I mean, lost their mummy. What sort of a home and backyard or, or what sort of setup should you have to make it the perfect home for a little bunny? Well, the perfect home for a bunny is one that's, you know, looked into it and they've made the decision that that's what they want, that they appreciate that bunnies live eight to ten years on average. Yeah. So it's a long commitment. It's not just, you know, a short term commitment. It's not just for Easter, actually. Exactly. A rabbit's not just for Easter, it's for life, you know. Mm -hmm. And these little baby bunnies, they're only ten weeks old at the moment. We don't actually rehome until our rabbits are neutered and vaccinated because it's really important that all rabbits are vaccinated against mixed maternity and VHD, the killer diseases, uh -huh. and nutrients is very important for the health of the rabbits yeah. and also for companionship because they like com company. Rabbits don't like to live solo. They, they are sociable animals with yeah. their own kind. And as you can see, you know, these guys have been cuddling up. Those They're guys have been chatting. And how do they react with other pets as well? Maybe if you do have a cat or a dog at home already? Yeah, as long as they're introduced well and you always supervise them, they can, they can be very sociable with other animals as well. You obviously don't leave cats or dogs alone with the bunnies yeah. when you're not there. But yeah, they can get on really well and enjoy each other's company. But they you know, they need company of their own kind because they've got their own unique yeah. language and, and we're stuff. We're talking thousands of bunnies, aren't we, across the country? Looking There's currently 33,000 rabbits in rescue, and a lot of mm -hmm. people aren't actually aware that there are rabbit rescues in the UK, and we are spread right across the country. And like I said, there are 33,000 rabbits yeah. currently unwanted and looking for their own homes. Well, so we've got, what, three, four, five here this morning that we're hopefully going yeah. to get little homes We, are, we are getting calls, Chloe, I think, all the time yeah. Yeah, yeah. from, from yeah. people trying to get more information about this. So fingers crossed, some of these guys <laughs> yeah. will find good they homes. They are just yeah. adorable. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Um,